down the street now? Well, at least one person's still willing to let me use her fax. I don't take sides. I know that things are never black and white. It's so bizarre, isn't it? I mean, you spend this huge chunk of your life as a couple, and then suddenly you're not. You may as well just disappear. It's, it's almost like you don't exist. It took me months before I went to see a movie alone. What'd you see? Transformers 2. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't run into anyone over 12. But I forgot. They have parents, and uh, I spent the first half of the movie dodging a co-worker and his wife, and the second half crying into my popcorn. Yeah, I hear you. See, I've got this, this faculty dinner to go to next Saturday night, and honestly, I don't think I can do it. It's at this Moroccan restaurant out by campus. I'm not very adventurous with foods I can't pronounce. Ella was my taste tester. You should call me. I'll walk you through the menu. Would you come with me and make sure I don't eat goat? I've been there. And they do a very nice goat. Are these two gonna start dating? Move all the way in, people. You're still you technically to married. Come on. You don't want to see real tornado. Of course he does. You just get to Oz so we can ask the wizard for a penis. Shut no, up. I talk to you for a sec. Why can't you leave him alone? But what has he ever done to you besides remind you that two short years ago we were him? Yeah. He bugs me. Yeah. Well, I think you're the one who needs a trip to Oz. See if the wizard can find you a heart. Thank you, Hannah. Finally. Alex, are we ever gonna get past this? Past what? Whatever happened between it's you and my yeah. mom. Look, you don't have to talk about it. It's not up to me to tell you. It's up to your mother. What? What's going on? Definitely need to talk to your mom then. So she wrote this. I'm assuming this is something she wrote to Allie, right? So how does A have it? Paris would be ours. Just checking her out. Have you seen them? I got it in a French catalog. They have them in like every color. Do me a favor. Look it for me, would you? What are you doing? Nothing. I just. You just what? Just because we kissed in the library, Emily, doesn't mean I'm into you like that. A kiss is a kiss. I like boys. And trust me, if I'm kissing you, it's because it's practice for the real thing. Don't leave that letter laying there unless you want someone to find it. Hello? Someone here? Where's my bag? They took the bag and the Where's letter, the letter? I thought for sure they, they were going to take the letter, but I didn't know they were going to take her back. I'm Ella Montgomery, Aria's mom. We met we at the theaters, I, yeah. I remember. Well, of course you would. Why wouldn't you? We practically met in the dark. <laughs> Why are these lights working? Uh, emergency fixtures? I guess the school's generator just kicked in. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Have you noticed any changes in Aria in the past few weeks? I only ask because um, my husband and I, we separated. And I was wondering if and how that's affecting Aria at school. It's not really a question you can directly ask your kid. Of course not. I'm sorry about you and your husband. As far as Aria goes, I haven't noticed anything um, alarming. She's very strong. But she puts up a good front, and um, when she's hurt and she wants to shut you out, you could die of frostbite. Oh, protein bars. Excuse me. Sure. You know, I'm really glad that um, she has you in her life right now. An adult that she admires. Look, Em, if you were hooking up with Maya last night, you can tell Ari and Spencer. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be this huge secret. It's not like I fell apart. Okay, can we not talk about this in here? I'm just saying, you can trust them. Emily, I think we found something that belongs to you. Could you come with me, please? Is that your bag on the table? Where'd you find it? I shouldn't have to tell you that leaving a bag unattended in a public place, not a very smart move. What is going on? 
Oh, perfect. We can all be together for an update. No, we're supposed to be in the girls' locker room. Yeah, well, I'm guessing you girls are used to being in places you're not supposed to be. Did you tell your friends where you were last night? When you weren't studying for the test? See, because I got these really interesting photos. Go ahead and pass it around. There's plenty more where that came from, at the precinct. Well, she didn't destroy it. There's no way Emily would have destroyed you get a something to for hours. Huh? That's not why I went there. Really? So you didn't go back to the memorial to finish up Toby's handiwork? Or were you just there covering up his tracks? I found it like that. It was already destroyed. Really? Well, let me ask you a question. What were these doing in your bag? Souvenirs? Something Toby asked you to save so he can keep it for his trophy collection? This has nothing to do with Toby. Em, why do you have those? She wanted to keep you it. You put it those in there, for Allison. Allison. Emily would never do that. The memorial was her idea. Yeah, so I heard. Nice cover, huh? For, for share what? This with him, or would you like to? So he Go stole ahead and tell her stuff. About the angry letter that you wrote to Allison, which is dated, by the way, three days before she disappeared. No right to read that. Emily, what is in that letter? Tell her. Tell her how you wanted to punish Allison for rejecting you. Tell her how you felt relieved at the funeral. Yeah, she wasn't going to be around to uh, humiliate you anymore, was she? I went back to the memorial to say I was sorry. There were horrible things in that letter, and I didn't mean them. But that's oh. She was gone, and I loved her as more than a friend. I never had the chance to tell her in the right way. Give Such it an ass. Back. Give it back to her now, or I swear to God, I will rip your head off. Sorry, I can't. And we're not leaving this room until you tell me what you were doing, carting around pieces of Allison's memorial. I took them because they were the only things that weren't broken. What's going on in here? A jerk. Why are they in the locker room with the other kids? Who are you? Her mother. I mean, if this is the school's idea of keeping my child safe, I'm, I'm glad I came back. I mean, why is she crying? He accused her of killing Allison. What? He went through her purse, and now he's oh, accusing hold her. Hold it. Hold it. You're questioning minors without an adult present? What, what police department do you work for? What century are you in? Ma'am, I would advise you. Oh, no, I would advise you to back off. Because anything that they've said to you is inadmissible in a courtroom, period. Let's go. Emily, honey, grab your things. Good for Spencer's mom. Sticking up for the girls. What are you thinking? I have a homicide to solve, okay? Not anymore, you don't. You're done. You're done with this investigation. Unless you want to face me down with opposing counsel. I wish I'd known. Look. Hey, Allison loved you. And I don't know if it was in the way that you wanted her to, but... I know that she did. The storm warning has just been lifted, but the SAT will have to be rescheduled. You're looking for hey, somebody? Ask your mom about Alex, Alex and what Alex. is going on. He might have already left. Thank you for stepping in. It was pro bono. Let's go. Wait, I, I really can't sit in the car the whole ride home without asking what happened between you and Alex. What did he say? Nothing. He won't talk about it. Oh my God, this requires closing a door. Maybe I should just walk <laughs> home. I remember that weekend when your father took you and Melissa to D.C. I stayed behind. Yeah. I said I had to work all weekend, but that wasn't the truth. I spent most of Friday drunk. Sunday, I was hungover. Saturday, I don't remember at all. Okay, I think I actually changed my mind. I really I, don't need to It started at the this. club Friday morning. It was empty. There wasn't a soul to talk to, so I ordered a sidecar. Then another and another. By the time lunch rolled around, I had walked through a trellis and couldn't find my shoes. It was Alex's first week there. He kindly listened to me spill my guts and later poured me into a cab with my shoes. Why were you spilling your guts to Alex? I had a doctor's appointment before I went there. They removed a lump from my breast. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. After that, I avoided the club for months. The next time I saw Alex, I made him promise that he would never, ever bring it up. Well, he kept it. Mom, are you sick? No. Well, why didn't you and Dad tell us? 
What makes you think your dad knows? Our family doesn't handle imperfection very well. Being sick is not an imperfection. Hey, well, at least it wasn't. Alex is a lovely kid. He's a keeper. Okay, good. <sighs> I was gonna say I was like really liking her after she stood up for the girls, but I was like worried about impressed. the whole Alex thing and if she, <laughs> honestly, her reasons for acting the way she did. But that's understandable. Hey. Oh look, Whoa. the lights are back. Okay, let's so. hey, let's try this again. Uh, finally found someone in Spencer's family what? that I don't hate. I Besides Spencer. think it already went. Transmission received. All right, you're off the hook for carpool this week. I will drive Hannah to school every day, and I'll see you for dinner on Saturday night. Right. Saturday. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking, actually. Uh, I can't have dinner at that Moroccan restaurant this Saturday. Mike has a scrimmage game late in the afternoon, and I promised I would take his team out afterwards. Yeah, actually, Saturday isn't good for me either. Okay, let's be awkward. But we'll, we'll figure out something. Definitely. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. I just wanted to say, I, I think we should have that date date. Seriously? When? How about Friday? I think I'm having dinner at my mom's on Friday, but how about Saturday? Yeah, works for me. That's good. I'm glad she's going to be with her mom, finally. Hey. What was that for? I can't tell you. It's a secret. I don't know what you said to Mona, but thank you. She actually made it through two hours in the locker room without spitting on me. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to thank me. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I'm your friend, geek. Hannah. Yeah. He doesn't want to be your friend, not just your friend. Uh-oh, did he do it? I know you want to kiss me. Okay, now A sending things to the police department. Oh. Anonymous. Okay, guys. So that was the end of episode nine. And, okay. So, we got... I don't know if we've met her before. We may have. It's like episode nine. We may have seen some Spencer's mom before, but I don't remember. Because uh, I watched the first few episodes a while ago. But um, we... Really got to see Spencer's mom in this uh, episode. And um, at first I wasn't sure what to make of her because I haven't really been liking Spencer's family because they're just awful people like her dad and her sister. Um, but um, when she, when they were at the school to take their SATs, uh, the um, uh, she ran into uh, Alex. Spencer's boyfriend and just the way like the way she was with them is just like I was like oh god I was like she one of those snooty people who think that you know uh people like him is like uh beneath her daughter and you know she doesn't want her dating him and stuff like that uh but luckily that was not the case uh and uh later when the uh the police I forget what his name is but that really annoying cop uh he cornered the girls in, well, not really cornered them, but he had the girls in the uh, library and was accusing of Emily, uh, accusing Emily, I can't talk, I'm sorry, accusing Emily of um, destroying the memorial and possibly even having something to do with killing Allison and things like that. And so things got, you know, said, but anyway, um, the mom came in and she shut him down and, uh, stood up for the girls and uh is hopefully going to get him kicked off the the police force maybe that'd be nice so like 
the way she stood up for them and everything and put them in his place, uh, I was like really starting to like her, but I was still kind of holding off on liking her because I wanted to know about the Alex thing. Um, what that whole interaction was because he wouldn't, Alex wouldn't tell Spencer because he said it wasn't his, um, secret to tell or whatever. I can't remember how he put it, but, um, luckily Spencer asked her mom and her mom told her, um, exactly what happened. And then she told him to keep her secret and he did that. And then she came out and said that Alex was a great kid and he was a keeper. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of, kind of in love with Alex, uh, with, Spencer's mother. Sorry if I'm saying the wrong names for characters, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so that was nice. And uh, also, um, outside of the school, we had uh, Hannah, her mother, and Arya's father kind of hanging out, talking about, you know, like their destroyed marriages and stuff. Um, and just kind of bonding and I don't know, kind of think they're like heading toward dating each other, but you know, technically he's still married and shouldn't be dating, um, anybody right now. But I mean, I guess they are separated. So I guess that gives him leeway. I don't know how that works, but in my opinion, if you're married, you shouldn't be dating anybody. So, uh, besides your spouse, that is, um, but so, yeah, because at the end there, when the lights came back on and everything, they talked about having dinner on Saturday, but then they both kind of like retracted that. And he was like, oh, I can't do that. I got something to do. She's like, oh, yeah, me too. Which, you know, she's only saying because he said, said it. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, so they're not going to be dating for right now, you know, at least. Uh, Arya's mother she kind of had a talk with uh Mr. Fitz or Ezra and um was asking about Arya and how she was doing and she kind of told him what was going on with her her and her husband and she just wanted to know how it was affecting Arya at school cuz she can't just come out and ask her kids um and everything and then I felt really bad for her you know cuz Arya Arya's been like freezing her out which I find completely unfair um I mean as a child I I understand that you don't want to accept the new reality of things when your parents aren't together anymore been there multiple times um but just to cut her mom off completely is just unfair and I didn't like that Arya is doing that to her mother Especially when it was the father who was the one who was unfaithful. Now, I don't know what was going on in their marriage that made him feel like he was missing something from her that led him to cheating. Um, not that it's her fault that he cheated, because that was totally his decision to cheat. Okay, but uh, regardless, I just don't feel it's right that the kids shut out the mother. I don't know if Mike is doing that. I just know Arya was doing that. But in the end of the episode, it looked like Arya is finally going to quit doing that. So we'll see. And I wonder, uh, because of the conversation he had with Ella, I think her name is Arya's mother, um, the, um, about, like, she was telling him how happy she is that he's in Arya's life because, you know, she thinks highly of him. <laughs> Uh, and everything if he is going to stick around to be there for Arya, which is just going to cause problems, you know, it's going to cause problems, you know, like their relationship is going to happen again or something like that. Um, but Arya looks like maybe she's trying to move on with, uh, Noel. So we'll see her and Noel kind of almost had a moment. Uh, he was playing guitar, she was singing, and then they almost kissed, and that's when Ezra came back in, obviously. So, I don't know what's gonna happen with those two. Um, Emily, Emily had, now I'm not sure the letter, like, I thought this was a letter that, uh, Emily wrote a while ago, like, maybe after the whole kiss thing, but is that a letter that she wrote recently? I'm not sure. I was a little confused by that when the cop was talking about the letter, like how angry Emily was that 
Allison for rejecting her and stuff, wouldn't that have been like after, like during that time, not like recent? I don't know, but somehow A had the letter and put it in that book for Emily to find. And then the cop took it, so he must have been like lurking around Emily and like was distracting her away from her stuff and then took it. That's where I'm getting. I don't think A took it. I think the cop took it because he had it. I don't think A took it and then left it there for the cop to find. I think that he did it, the cop. I mean, I could be completely wrong on that, but that's just what I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Emily um, kind of got outed by the cop in front of her friends. Um, because he told them what was written in the letter um, and everything. And so Emily came out to her friends um, about being in love with Allison as, you know, more than a friend. And uh, she had the pieces from the memorial because it was the only thing that wasn't broken. And you could look like you could see like in those pictures that the cop had of her where he got the pictures. I have no idea unless he was lurking around just snapping pictures um that she was devastated she looked devastated in those pictures to see the memorial destroyed like that and uh and everything so um but her friends seem like they're being supportive of her anyway of her liking girls at least aria we didn't really see spencer have a anything to say to her but i'm sure spencer's you know being cool about it too at the end of the episode uh lucas came up to hannah and told her that they sold her leather jacket so um also before i get more into that i just want to say that i absolutely loved the part where hannah told off mona um about how she's treating people and uh it seemed to maybe have an effect on her because she didn't take any more jabs at Lucas after that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, get back to the whole Lucas thing. Um, Hannah said that they were friends and then left and he wanted to say something else. I think basically he doesn't want to be just her friend. You know, I think he wants to like date her or something. Uh, and anyway, so it, the camera panned down to his shoes and they're just as muddy as uh emily's shoes were so um i think they're trying to tell us that lucas is the one that destroyed the memorial so i mean that's going to be my guess i mean i wouldn't blame him and they made a point in the previously on to show the one part that was out of place in the previously on of lucas saying allison was evil so, um, it makes sense that Lucas would be the one to have destroyed the memorial. Uh, in which case, you know, considering how she treated him, I really don't blame him. But uh, I think that when Hannah finds out, um, it's probably gonna destroy their friendship. Probably. We'll see. But anyway, uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.